this is 12, this is, these are two batteries hooked up in series with a car, with a crude carbon arc which can be made better by drilling two holes through a flower pot and so the car rods tightly fit and touch at the ends until they are pulled apart to where is they are close enough to to the point that they will for certain produce an arc but not enough to touch okay so I'm gonna let this arc for a little bit if I can get it to continuously arc here if I can get it to continuously arc here if it doesn't continuously arc the way that I need it to I'll get up, I'll put it up to 24 volts so now there it goes okay so there it goes okay this is the ignition coil this steps the voltage up and it's using cars for the spark plugs stepping up to up to 20,000 volts from 12 or even 6 depending on the vehicle so now Oh, here we go. There it was going out. There it goes. One more time. Okay. Alright. Now I'm going to hook it up with this extra battery, this 6 volt battery, which is actually quite handy. First, I'm going to use 24 volts. Then I'm going to try to demonstrate with 36. Okay, this six volt battery I take away. This is the t these are this is the 12 volt couple of batteries, and this is the charger. Okay, so now I will hook up. Whoops. Uh, hook, got, I will hook this up to the negative right here which goes to one of the carbon rods okay and this one right here okay okay alright so 24 volts here 24 volts here alright 24 volts Lights it up like the mother. All right, this works. Okay, and this is 24 volts from a couple of batteries that you can easily buy from a lot of places like Amazon, places like that. These are specialized long batteries, but you can use lantern batteries as well. Okay, now we'll see what 36 volts does. I not 36 volts, but 30 volts. We'll go to 30 volts from 24. Got a wire here. So I will, I mean not we, I mean I, will go to 30 volts from 24 volts and see what that does okay now I'll begin the carbon arc okay there we get that thing up from a crude carbon arc okay There you go, so it's arcing right. Okay. There it goes, okay. As the carbon, if I can get a continued arc, some of vaporizes, some of vaporizes here. The 
arg should get wider until that doesn't happen so much, but also should produce a bit somewhat a better inductive kick because the core of the ignition coil, which is made out of steel, made out of laminated steel, holds some of the magnetism, so it has to have some time for that to change in order to transform the voltage. Get too far apart to where it to where well I'll just say that you get too far apart and the resistance increases and it's hard for it to arc and you get less output that way too. So this is three six volts being converted to a very high voltage. Now, I demonstrated with 12, I demonstrated 24, I demonstrated with 36. So how about 6 now? Demonstrate with six here. This little battery right here. Six volt battery. These are of course rechargeable, that's why that's what the difference is. They are rechargeable sealed lead acid batteries. And of course you can use lantern batteries like I said. Some change, not a hell of a lot. Not with the six volts. Six volts not enough. Not enough. Enough. Very enough to light. Okay. There, that's that's that direct contact. Okay. Yeah, that might be kinda of hard to do. Keep an arc going. It takes about 10 volts to sustain an electric arc. But this is my demonstration. And this is how it's wired. Okay. Negative positive wire. These two knots. Those go to the primary coil. Then between what's in the tower and the positive screw is the high voltage which goes to this fluorescent lamp and the negative and positive wires from the battery one, one of the terminals of course is in series with this guy right here this carbon arc and that's how it works